I've enjoyed knee hockey ever since I've been a little kid. And in order to enjoy it even more, I built this. And this is a knee hockey ball dropper. And what this does is replaces the need for NHL or somebody to drop the ball for you for a face-off. So I put this right at the center of the basement or where I play knee hockey, and it drops the balls for me uh, from this switch. So all you have to do is push down on this red button and wait until it drops the ball. And this right now is holding six balls, well five because I just dropped one, but it can hold about eight at max in this mode or in this one. But if you had um, multiple or if you had more ceiling space, you could probably fit a longer pipe or come up with a different system to uh, fit more knee hockey balls in there. And it, it's a pretty good system. And this thing hardly ever gets jammed, so it's great. Alright, now I do apologize because I lost some of the footage of this video. Uh, I, I don't know where it went, but somehow it got deleted. And that was just part of the mechanics. Uh, so, I'm again, I'm sorry about that, but that's just the way it worked out. Hopefully, though, this is informative enough to give you a good idea of how this thing all works. Alright, to start this project, I got myself some half-inch birch plywood. I have two sheets here. I'm not sure how much I'm actually going to need, uh, but I'm going to start with the first sheet, and what I'm doing is drawing out a circle. This circle is going to have a 10-inch uh, diameter, yeah, 10-inch diameter, so I have a 5-inch uh, compass that I made out of a nail, piece of wood, and a pencil. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and find the center point of this nail and I'm going to trace a circle alright now it's not a perfect circle but it looks pretty good to me so now I'm going to cut it out at the bandsaw And now I'm cutting two pieces that are 16 inches long, and to do that accurately, I've set up a stop block on my miter saw extension, and if you want to see this project, I'll put, put a link on the screen uh, right about now, and you can click on that and go to that video. So anyway, I'm going to cut two pieces that are 16 inches long. Alright, and now I've set up the router table with some feather boards, and I'm going to make the groove through this 2x4. Alright, and now with those grooves cut, this piece of plywood should fit right in here, and there we go, we got a nice snug fit, and then same for this side. Yep, and that's how it's going to look. Alright, now I set up over at the drill press, and I'm going to drill out a hole for the ball to fall through and this seems like a pretty good location so I'll drill it here so as I've been messing around with this design here uh, I figured that I needed to add a little spacer here and I'm also gonna need to make one more of these to go on the bottom and the reason for this is because this pipe is gonna sit here and this has to be pretty much flush with the top uh, um, very even with the top in order for the ball um, to roll in the tube and not get jammed in between the tube and the plywood so this may sound a little confusing um, 
basically, I just need to make another one of these and put it here, and then I'll have a nice, um, easy system to bring the ball around and drop it through a hole that I'm going to drill here later. Alright, so I have this thing glued up, and I have multiple spacers. I have a few spacers around the outside, and I clamped those in place, and I clamped the center spacer in place. Uh, I couldn't reach all the way out there, but it applies enough pressure that that gap is squeezed tight. These holes are lined up as well as the middle hole, um, so it looks pretty good. I'm just going to let this dry for now. So now I need to take this part of a hockey stick and cut it down to fit on uh, this 2x4. Now this 2x4 is not tall enough from here up, so I need to add a little bit of height, and this hockey stick uh, was an old street hockey stick, so I just decided to use this. So I'm going to go cut this down to size. Alright, so now on the piece that I have the hockey stick on, uh, I need to remove a little bit of material here to go on the I-beam. So I'm going to do that um, right in this groove here with the bandsaw. Alright, and here's what it looks like, and here's the switch, so... As you can see, it's not the best, but it does the job. And I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna put it up in the ceiling. I won't film that because that's gonna be really difficult. But once I get it up there, I'll show you a view. All right, and there's the completed face-off ball drop for knee hockey. Now this was a really fun project to make, but it was very difficult in the end trying to get it all to work. But now that it works, it's awesome. I love it. Uh, I'm probably not gonna even use it that much, but it was just kind of one of those things that. Uh, I wanted to do, um, I have a, I'm doing a big party with my friends and having a knee hockey tournament, so hopefully this will come in handy for that. Uh, right now it's holding six knee hockey balls, it can hold about, I'd say eight total, uh, but you can modify it to hold as many as you like. Uh, this seems to work really good. Now, because of the intimidation of this project with the mechanics, uh, trying to get it to spin properly and all that... I wasn't able to get a very good video today. Now, I'm sorry for that, but it just, the video didn't really happen. Uh, but you do get to see how it works, basically how I built it, and I think that's still really helpful. Uh, I sort of just went off my own thoughts here, what I thought that it needed to um, look like, what I thought it needed to do, and it seems to work out pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead now and show you how it works. So I'm just going to push the trigger for one face off. And it's going to go around and collect a ball and drop it. And you have your first face off. And then if someone scores a goal or the puck goes out of play, instead of having to go grab the ball or anything like that, you can just hit the switch again and have another face off right in the middle. And I'll go ahead and hold it down for all of the other four balls that are in there. Three left. Two left, and zero left. So there we go. It's pretty good. I really like this project. Um, it was kind of fun to make. It was a little bit uh, hard with the mechanics. Again, uh, that was the reason I didn't really get a good video out. But overall, I think it's a really cool project once you get it done, and hopefully I'll be able to use this for a long time.